Twitter it. Uh, first of all, kind of off topic a little bit, Han Hannah Gilbert, uh, talk to me kind of about, about uh, her role and kind of how she's developed over the season and just kind of what sort of player she is and what sort of person she is. Well, she's a very humble person. I think that uh, the first part of the year she was deferring so much because she knew that she had great players uh, out of our senior class that she wanted to make sure that they got theirs. And so uh, we talked with her, or even the seniors talked with her and said, we need you. We need you to be uh, asking for the ball and, and be confident in your shooting ability because you actually are one of the best shooters in the league. So um, really pleased with her development. Obviously, when you see her get up and down the court, there's uh, some comparisons to how Santiago could fly up and down the court. She does share that commonality with uh, Santiago. Um, if she ever becomes that kind of a player, we'll be quite welcome to have that. Uh, she's really developing. Uh, in fact, we've had some even referees that will be like, oh, see, you found a replacement for Schlemer. So um, high praise for her and her development. Great. Um Kind of talking about what Ariana was talking about. Uh, these next two games are, is it, is it kind of coming into this week, is it kind of mess, uh, a message that, that you send to Big West play saying, like, we are here to win and, and we can compete with anyone? Yes, these two competitors, I think, are two of the finest that we've faced, as Ariana said, all year. Uh, certainly right now, Long Beach State, 14-1, uh, and 15-1, they are currently ranked, have an RPI of 31. They beat Cal in overtime. They lost to USC in overtime. That's their only loss of the year. So they're a, an excellent ball club. I think that they are very senior dominant, experience dominant, and that pays big dividends for their play on the court. Typically, they'll play four guards and uh, a post player. And they're, they have one post that's a huge presence inside. She had 20 points and 20 boards against us last year against Molly and uh, I'm sure she's getting ready to go to work here on Thursday night and then they've got a, another forward that replaces her that can shoot the three so you know they have a different combinations I think for Long Beach State some of the things that we've been preparing for this week is they have um, every defense that's been known to man they employ it and uh, we'll see everything from the kitchen sink out there as well. Uh, they really try to change things up all the time. Against a really fine Davis team, they produced 28 turnovers, uh, or Davis produced 28 turnovers in the last game. And fortunately, Davis actually still had a chance to win that game, lost by three. So you know, if we can do a good job of taking care of the ball, then we got a shot at being competitive in this game. Uh, Northridge, obviously. Break the record is a, a big deal for us. We'd love to have everybody who has a day off on Saturday to come out and fill the gym. Uh, but Northridge has so much talent. They really do have a, a full senior squad. They are all juniors last year that went to the NCAA tournament. And obviously, they beat us three times last year. So there's uh, some good incentive there for our, our returners. And for the newcomers, they're going to find out what excellent basketball is about this week. Great. How do you feel about the team's progress so far in the season? I'm really pleased. I think that early on we had so much. We still have a lot of youth. But uh, they were really learning and growing pains that we were suffering early in the season. Those games that you lose by one point, two points, I think you learn from those. If you can withstand, again, the emotional drama of those losses, I think that they end up being great teachers. And we've chosen to reflect on those as opportunities rather than discouraging actions. Uh, so they're learning, and I expect them to all be playing as sophomores now rather than freshmen that they are. But certainly, uh, Ariana Elegato, Kristen Ale, Taryn Garza is, are really true experienced players. They've really shouldered quite a bit of the burden and the camaraderie and the leadership that we've asked them to produce, and they've come through with flying colors. Faith, uh, Ariana deals a lot with marketing, but uh, is there a certain message you want to send to the fans with the Break the Record game coming up on Saturday? Well, I think that, again, it's a fine game of women's basketball. You're, going, you're able to see the returning player of the year in Ashley Gway from Northridge. There's a number of players on her team that are equally as talented as she. 
Ariana Elgato, who was first team all conference last year, and certainly I think a first teamer as well as possibly player of the year kind of candidate. So you're seeing quality basketball players. You're going to see quality basketball. And our style of play is so much fun. All the teams that are coming in this week, uh, it is fun basketball. It is up and down. It is changing defenses. It's not going to be stand still, be bored, watch forever. It's going to be moving and grooving. And uh, I think it would be a lot of fun as a spectator to take it all in. <clears throat> um, you knew about, sorry, it's easy to predict Northridge with everything they had coming back would be a good team again. Um, was Long Beach and just how, how consistently they've been winning, is that any kind of surprise at all? It's not a surprise to me. They had, again, some players that were out injured last year that they would have been right in the mix last year had they not suffered those kind of injuries. Uh, I think that right now from where they're competing we'll see obviously northridge versus long beach down the road here but uh, i think i would have to give the edge a little bit to long beach as far as personnel depth um, variation and what they can do again i'm sure that northridge has a lot to say to counter that but uh, they're very very talented they've got size speed changing ability they've got three-point shooting in every spot uh, it's really difficult to guard them. So it's going to be quite a challenge for us to come away with any wins this week. But uh, I like I like our team. I like our optimism as well. Yeah. Uh, Donovan did the math on the assists. I think he said that Ariana has to average, was it 5.5 in the neighborhood the rest of the season to catch Joan A for the program record? Um, whether she does that, you know, good luck to her. But um, I, I wanted to ask just, they played so much of their career together. I know there were injuries in between where they, you know, they didn't weren't on the court at the same year or season. But um, you know, how interesting and, and uh, I guess intriguing is it to you that they've put up so many assists and they played together as well for so long? It really is quite amazing. And I can tell you that uh, when I had signed Ariana, her father was thinking, well, you got Jone, why would you want Ariana? Is my daughter ever going to play? I said, yes, I can see them playing on the court at the same time and wreaking havoc. And I think that they, that's, I prophesied that. I, I think I'm pretty smart. Uh, they did a great job playing together and really played off of each other. Ariana being able to move to the point guard obviously puts the ball in her hands more to be an assist artist. Uh, she has to do so much creating, either for her own shot or for her teammates' shots, that it does, the burden falls on her a little bit more than it did last year, where she, Jone could kind of wheel and deal and then set up Ari for a shot, and then Ari could get shots because people would double team on Molly. Uh, there's just so much that went into their play together. It's pretty cool that Ari is actually one of our top point scorers of all time. She's actually our three-point record holder. She is now our free throw record holder. And for her to even have a shot and assist record, I think speaks volumes about what she's contributed to Cal Poly women's basketball, helping to bring championships as well. And certainly somebody who uh, in the future I would certainly nominate as one of the best players in Cal Poly history. So mark that down, future voters for Hall of Fame. <laughs>